Hello and welcome to Search Blocks. Today I'll show you Amazon S3 collections in Search Blocks and how to configure them. You can refer to this developer documentation link. First, let's create a new Amazon S3 collection. After logging in to the admin console, click on the Add Collection button. Enter a unique name for your collection. Select Amazon S3 and click on Add to create your collection. Your Amazon S3 collection is created. Now let's configure it before we start indexing. Click on the collection name and you will be taken to the Settings tab. Here you must provide the information for the mandatory fields, access key, secret key and the bucket name. Search blocks also comes pre-configured with a few other Amazon S3 parameters such as includes and excludes. Path prefix is the path to be indexed in the bucket. This is optional and if it's specified, it should be an existing path within the bucket. File types to be included and excluded are given in the includes and excludes fields with commas separating each file format. Click on index under the index tab to manually start indexing. Clicking on index again after the initial index operation, all crawled documents will be re-indexed. If documents have been deleted from the bucket since the first indexing, they will be deleted. New documents will also be indexed. Indexing can be controlled from the collection dashboard, index tab for a collection, or through API. The current status of a collection is always indicated on the collection dashboard and the index page. Scheduling can be performed only from the index tab. The different options available in scheduling are once, hourly, daily, every 48 hours, every 96 hours, weekly, and monthly. It is important to not schedule the same time for index and clear operations. If you have multiple collections, always schedule the activities accordingly to prevent more than two or three collections indexing at the same time. That's all about Amazon S3 collections in search blocks. Thank you for watching.